film, opening scene. Hi, this is Alex with Bleep and Jeep. <laughs> what up? So today we're gonna we're gonna do something. Oh, wait, yeah. I gotta flip this around. I don't know. <laughs> Bang. All right, so today we're gonna do some shock shit. And uh, <laughs> this is not gonna work. I don't know how to change oh, it the worked. brightness on this thing, but it worked. The, sp the spinny thing. No. That's it. It's all the way bright. <laughs> well, this is the stock jack on a lifted TJ, and it boom. It really doesn't look like it lifts a lot. It worked. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Crank. Give me, give me the thing. This is just a noob operation going on right now. Like, all right, be everything. All right, will be everything. All change. Better go. Yo, am I in the hospital on the whole floor? Stop. All right. What, really? Progress has been made, and wow, look at how the wheel is off, and I don't know how to focus this thing. So, all right, we got it, we got it, we got it. It's not an auto. It's it's auto focus. We're good. We're good. You gotta press the button. Anyway, all right. That's the shock we're gonna be taking out. Yo, you got a ratchet? Yeah. Y'all got a ratchet? So we now have movement in the shock. Surprisingly, oh, which is no, it's not supposed to do that. See so how the shock is moving on the bushing? Right, not supposed to do that. Alright, so this is what you don't want to do. So you don't want it to happen. If that does happen, most people will replace the shock or get bar pin eliminators. If what? Sounds like a cowbell. <laughs> More cowbell. Alright, we'll come back when you got this thing out. Yeah. All right, so I just found out something. <laughs> Under here, <coughs> <laughs> the lens is cracked, sorry. Um, you know, Okay. okay. there's something holding it on. So you gotta wrench no, 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 no. and no, no, no. break it. Okay. Loosening the bolt. Wrench it on the top. All right, we, we're amateurs here, don't judge us, but. But yeah, if you're confused as to why it's not coming off at first, there's some bolt under it that you have to take off as well. We ran into trouble already, and it's probably the most common problem ever. Are you reusing that boot? No. Can I cut it? Can. Okay. Up in here, getting this top bolt off. I don't know how they expect you to do that. I also don't have proper tools, so that might be part of it. Every time you go to clamp something onto the whatever part of the shock, it just spins in there. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, yeah, I didn't try it all the spinning. way. Ready? Go. Ah! Come on. Ah. I slipped off of it. That boy. Let's <laughs> try that again. Okay. Go. Alright, guys, it is the next day now. And I just didn't film putting the rest of the shocks on because it was just such a pain. It took us like six hours just sitting under the car and messing around with it. So uh, I figured I'd let you guys in on some tips and installing these. Well, not those. Those guys. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. So on the front shocks, there's the stem. 
and there's a bolt that goes up through here on the top. That's not the right one. But uh, a lot of people say to put vice grips in here and that should hold it. But it really doesn't hold it at all. So what we did was we took some channel locks, which I don't even know where they are, but we channel locked on the disc here. Not sure if you're supposed to do that, and you can see it it damages it a lot, but I don't plan on using them again, so. But uh, that started not to work, so I took uh, channel locks here, and then I used another pair of channel locks to hold those channel locks, so it's a lot more leverage on it, and that seemed to work, and I had a friend uh, with a wrench and up through the hood and we got it so if the vice grips don't work for you or if you can't just get it off try it, some channel locks or two pairs of channel locks and grab a buddy and it should come off I'll show you where the hole is and everything so the hole for the shocks is right there yeah you can see the top of the shock right there What's nice on the Bilsteins, uh, you can't see that. Mm, you kind of could. There's a, there's actually an Allen key on the top, a hex. So you just hold that and then spin this nut that's here that you can't really see. And it's super easy to get on. And then the bottoms are just the normal bar pins, which are simple, hard to get to, but they're not hard to figure out. So yeah, and then on this side we had to take the air box off, which if you can't figure out, that's really hot, how to do that. On the inside you take the filter out, there's three bolts, and you just take those out and it should pop out, and it helps a lot to remove this bar. And then same, you know, channel locks, have a buddy help you, same hole on the top. And yeah, the new, uh, the Bilsteins went in no problem up front. And then in the rear we had some problems. So I'll show you that. Okay, so back here, this is where we ran into the trouble. It's this guy right here. This, we actually had to bend out the shock mount on the car because this didn't fit in there and we, you could see we were hitting it with a hammer. That didn't make me feel too good. It won't really focus, but yeah, I don't know if you can see that. And then uh, you got to try and shove the bolt through. We hit the bolt with a hammer and everything. We finally got it on. And then we actually t took the wheel off, and it gives you way better access to up there, which is just another bar pin. And it's not going to let you focus on it, is it? But yeah, that's not too hard up there. And the same over there. We actually got really lucky with this bolt, but we actually did have to bend it out a little bit more. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a common problem or not, but that took us a while to figure out and get the holes lined up so the bolt fit through straight. And then it's another bar pin up there, and I would strongly recommend that your car is cool so you don't burn yourself on the exhaust because you do have to reach up there and it's quite annoying. Let me tell you. Ask me how I know. But uh, I was able to drive it home last night. And I gotta say, it took me and the buddy six hours and I didn't think that would happen. A big reason a lot of people replace the shocks too is because these bushings are in these, all these white bodies are the worst. This one actually isn't too bad. Let me, one of them is really bad. I think it was this one. Yeah, see that movement? Yeah, that's not good. But the Bilsteins are packed in there really tight. So I planned on filming a lot more of this install thing, but it was just such a pain in the butt, so. Uh, if there's any way I can help you guys, if you have questions on installing shocks or anything, let me know. Uh, I can definitely respond quickly. 
And yeah, thank you for watching.